Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I've got the model F16 fitness tracker here for you. Let's take a look at it. Inside this plastic covered container is a sweet little watch with got the same cover over the outside of it and lightweight dual tone band wow look at all of the goodies on this what actually is this one well it comes to us from banggood it's a bakey product ecg plus ppg heart rate blood pressure blood oxygen all of that stuff including weather wow for about 50 bucks so I'll look in the show notes for a coupon with a discount and the link to go over and pick this one up this is a green pictured here but i got the one in red that was sent to me all in all it uh, runs with bluetooth 4 and uh version uh, and higher we've got um ju pro is the tethering app all of these apps are supported ip67 heart rate everything sleep monitoring pedometer you can reject calls with it. It's got a stopwatch. Nice. 1.3 inch TFT, 240 by 240 screen, about 170 milliamp hour battery. Should give you standby time of about 10 days. Lasts about a week with about three hours to charge, they claim. And of course, removable silicone band and more. All right. What else have we got in here? The charging wire. When we pop that out. It's a typical two-pin, magnetically coupled charging connector. thought it would be easy to hold it. No, no, not quite. And this is really lightweight, so it's not a very strong magnetic connection. USB connector here, and the manual in color, instruction manual of the smartwatch. Be endless in advancing. Be tolerant to diversity. Hmm, hmm. Okay, here's the QR code that you'll scan to get the um, the app. Oh, this is the Chinese side. Let's do it in the English side. Yeah, okay, I guess that's page one. Same thing, here you go, the JU Pro app for this one. And it's got some color screens that show you what the displays are going to look like for uh, step, distance, calories, heart rate detection. Here's the ECG PPG, and look, it's going to generate a real ECG chart, it looks like. Uh, notes for the measurement. Here's the app measurement process. This is nice. They're doing a good job of telling you about how all this stuff works. You got a blood pressure reading on the watch with this one. You've got blood oxygen, uh, your last night's sleep time, a training mode, interesting, and information reminders. Uh-huh. Look up the model of the phone and a uh, hook. That's cute. A chronograph in it that looks like a night um, alarm clock. Some attentions that they put in the manual. And that is it. The rest is all in Chinese. So, very interesting. Let's charge it up and see what it'll do. I don't even see buttons on it. But I do see the silver plates for doing the ECG in the corners. Interesting. Well, this one's a pretty simple one to operate. It's a one-button wonder. There's a little white circle down here, and that's all you got. You press long, or you tap it once, or you tap it twice. The long press, when it's off, turns it on. It vibrated and lit up on a screen. There's only three screens, so I'll show you those first. Press and hold. Switches to this one, where you've got calories, step count, and heart rate. Press again. If you're fast enough before it times out and you get this nice big kind of a white uh, with a, a, a large digit flip type of a uh, clock, which right now is in 24 hour time. We haven't tethered yet to the app, so everything's a little bit uh, off until that's done and you set everything up the way you want it in the app. When I tap it once, I come over here into beats per minute, 
heart rate. So your heart rate reading is the first thing that you get to. And one nice feature about this one is once it gives you the heart rate, it stays on for quite a long time. This is simulated. That's not anything actual in terms of your heart uh, rhythm. Uh, it's All of this is just going to be animated graphics. But as you can see, you still have your heart rate going and the watch is staying on for longer than it normally does. Tap it again. We're into this ECG PPG thing where you long press to test it. We'll do that more when we've got the app uh, up and ready. Here's last night's sleep time, which is incorrect and correct at the same time. Uh, restless night, got up in the middle of the night for a little while, not long, 10 minutes, went back to bed, and it reset the clock. So it's not like calibrated to catch you if you go to bed somewhere around 10 and get up somewhere around 5, 6, 7. Uh, it's just giving you that middle zone. As far as a breakdown on that, we have to look at the app. It only gives you the total. And man, it's so quick. And as far as I know, there's no way to adjust the timeout. Here we go into exercise routines. And when you long press, it's really bizarre. Uh, we'll come back to that because I wasn't fast enough. Let's loop around um, back to here, press. It's an art getting used to this. The first one is walking. Look at the symbols down below. The second one is running. The third one is cycling. Fourth one is like mountaineering, climbing. And then we're back to the outside of it again. I have to long press to get back in it. If I want something like running, I go to it and I long press. And it'll vibrate and begin. There's timing, steps, calories burned, and heart rate. Stays on for a little while. Takes it a while to get going. I've done one session with it. I don't know if it recorded it and will transfer it to the app. We'll have to check that. But nonetheless, it's a... Basically, time versus calories and uh, pedometer step count. No GPS or anything. Long press to get out of it. Vibrated. And we're done. Cycle all the way through the rest of them to get back here. Then you tap again. And now we have more. It's the last dot in this sequence. But if I press and hold, I get a whole bunch of more dots. Now, at this point, it's basically showing you your step count. Your calories burned, and that little oval is your uh, goal, and I don't have a goal set yet. And then your distance traveled in kilometers. The next press takes me to uh, blood pressure. Um, this is where we can start talking about accuracy. You know, there's not really an easy way to measure accuracy on these devices. We're each unique, different skin tone color, different spots, different hair and all kinds of stuff. So it's unique to each of you, but you should have a good gut feel for what your regular rate should be. Um, when I did this one before, it was significantly low. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, it was really low, like 97. Anyway, I, I usually am up about 120 to 130, maybe even a little bit more, depending on how much caffeine, you know. I like to to get <laughs> wired up for you guys. Um, so that's a little bit low. Um, it probably needs to be adjusted. So take the, the uh, accuracy of these devices, especially little inexpensive toy bands and watches that do all these different measurements. Take them with a grain of salt. Actually, don't use salt because that'll uh, be bad for your blood pressure. Maybe a, a grain of uh, sand. Uh, no, no, that doesn't taste good. But you get the drift. Don't rely on them. Definitely uh, check on calibrated instruments for the accuracy that you're looking for. And just use these as a gauge. There we go, 98% as to how well you're doing. Here we go. If we're tethered, we can long press and get the notifications pushed from your phone. You can find your phone if it's lost. We have a simple little stopwatch in here. It doesn't do much. Press and hold. It's there. Start it. Stop it. Start it. Stop it. There's no lap times. I don't know what the up and down arrows are because the screen's not sensitive. And that's all you can do. If I double tap, it doesn't do anything. And if I long tap, it takes me out of it. And if I go back into it, of course, it's reset back to zero. So extremely simple stopwatch that you have to leave on and running if you want to actually get there. Here's the information for when you tether it and you test a long press will turn the unit off to save battery. And we're back to the more section, which was the last thought here and back to the screen. So 
let's um, introduce the app now and uh, take again, again a look at it. We've got metal plates here for ECG and the metal plate on the bottom here. And when you see ECG plus PPG, that means the PPG is the diodes. It's using both the diodes and the electrical connection to more accurately give you your heart rate. That's pretty much what that's about. And sometimes it can estimate blood pressure from that as well. For this one, let's see what the app is going to give us. JU Pro is the name of the app. There's a link in the show notes to take you to the Google Play Store or just search on it. Download it to your phone. From your phone, you go through the connecting process, which is pretty simple. Once you're connected, which we are now uh, set up that way, and you notice the time has shifted. I also lost my sleep time and step count and everything because I hadn't connected it before. So lesson learned, I should always tether it before I go to bed and connect with uh, all of the data. When you open it, you're in your home page and you have this, which is your step count, calories burned, distance travel, and duration of activity. You can just imagine that all being there. No data, but here's all the days of the week. Shows you basically the layout of how this is going to work for you. After this, which is just your basic pedometer type stuff, sleep shows up here. It would show you your deep, light, and awake time. There's no rimmed uh, sleeping. And by the way, there's only green diode, not red diode, for any of the more advanced sleep apnea type things. So very simple watch, very simple app. Uh, sleep is here. Now the health is a little more sophisticated. Here we are on the health tab. It's already blinking like it's looking at the uh, heart rate. Low, high, and average. Since I started it, I guess, I can begin an actual measurement and it's switched over into that heart rate mode on the watch itself. So that's a nice feature. You can take remote measurements directly from the app in case you need to put this on somebody that's isolated in another room. You have the blood pressure tab as well and you can start that remotely. And we already saw what blood pressure does. Well, we'll let it run for a, a moment. Okay, I edited out so the time delay in there. It took maybe a half a minute or so. So it gave me 109 over 64. And notice it also did the blood oxygen and degree of fatigue, moderate fatigue. So it's measuring somehow the fatigue level. When I go in here, here's my blood pressure, systolic, diastolic, blood oxygen, and you actually get the percentage down here of fatigue. So that's usually heart rate variability, um, but I'm not sure where they're coming up with that. And then finally, here is the ECG, and this is our electrocardiogram. I'm going to set this thing down. Uh, that's me licking my finger. You guys are used to that now, huh? Now lick both of them here because I want to have a good connection. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to tap the two corners here and hit start giving me a countdown there's a simulated graph there on the watch on the app itself I'm going to wiggle my finger a little bit and you see it jumping around so we know that we're getting a legitimate uh, connection and that looks like a realistic uh, heart wave from the ones we've seen before it's not on the watch I remember emphasize that because a lot of you guys want to be able to see your ECG on the watch not on this one that's simulated however what you're seeing on the app connected live and I don't know if you can see if it's too bright on the watch or on the phone but it's giving me my heart rate the ECG plus PPG calculated heart rate up at the top that's not showing on the watch either so doing the ECG is really dependent upon connection to the app if you want to, to get your information. Average heart rate, health index it's giving me. I can go health report. And now look at the detail. Mental stress, fatigue index, heart age. Wow! Wow! Oh, I'm going to keep this just for that. Hey. <laughs> I know you 13-year-olds are going, 28, you're almost 30. Oh, that's old. Anyway, my heart age is looking good. Physical and mental relaxation, heart vitality, and sympathetic parasympathy. Not sure what any of those uh, things are. No abnormality. Um, I don't think... Oh, these, these explain if you get 
this type of a reading here, it will let you know what that means, is my guess. Um, and so apparently it can assess your heart health against these different things. Wow. All right. Again, really, really take this with salt, pepper, and vinegar. Um, don't rely on this stuff for medical advice, but you can use it in consultation with your physician or medical provider to let them know that you have this report. Does, does it mean anything? That kind of thing. And look down here. I got an ECG playback. And down in this lower window, I can get a full-on playback of my ECG chart. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, all of this is self-contained here. When I come back, I should have that reading somewhere that I could get to for the date. Wow, maybe not. Huh. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. So I can always come back to this and look at the information, including replaying. Whoa! Whoa, JU, wow, this is a JU Fit app. I really like this app. Great, 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 great. So as simple as the watch is, as one button uh, wonder as it is, um, what it's doing for ECG and transmitting that data over here is really incredible. Great, great collection of data in the app itself. So beyond this, again, the health tab, blood pressure, heart rate, and ECG, we then have exercise. And this is where you've got all the different uh, activities, a walk, a run. I don't think it captured the one that I did before, cycling, climbing. And look, this says swimming, although the watch did not have that. I don't know, and I don't think it's waterproof. Um, double check before you take it in water. But if I wanted to do a run... I could enable uh, the data and I probably will get an EC or a, a G, GPS chart of my location here if we went ahead and continued it. And sure enough, there we go. It's starting to track. Uh, it hasn't found my location. GPS is connecting, I guess. So anyway, if I hit that button, it'll take me right to my location. And we are doing it. And I can slide to pause. I can stop it right from here. And so you can use the fitness app in here um, directly with the uh, watch or without the watch. I'm not seeing heart rate on here, so it's not collaborating with the watch where it's transmitting the heart rate information together with these things. Um, which is unfortunate. So it looks like it's just basically a standalone um, fitness component of the app itself, which you could probably download the app and just use on its own without even tethering to the watch. I don't know. Anyway, that's in there. And then overall device, you can turn on notifications for your phone and notifications for text messaging. Then overall message notifications in any of the apps that you've got that you could select. That usually takes a while to set up. Alarms, your sedentary reminders. You can do a remote selfie where you'll you know trigger the camera from the watch. And then there's more settings for uh, searching for your device. When I tap that, it's now vibrating. Yep, no sound, no audio from this, but it does have vibration. Factory reset it. A power savings mode. So you can go into Do Not Disturb and set the time. Uh, you can turn on or off vibration and on or off raise your wrist, wrist to see the time. So this is really good for sleeping. If you set your start time before you go to bed and end time, you know, when you wake up, um, you won't be having it flash during the night, which I did all night. Whenever you turned over and the watch was up, it would turn on. Um, device update. This is where we would check to see if we have any version updates and it looks like we're okay that's the current firmware on this one and your overall time format is system default or you can switch 1224 so an intelligent time monitoring uh, system as well and it has switched back to 12 hour time on here and then finally me your step goal, your units, okay, I like to be in Imperial. You saw all our measurements were in kilometers. You can tie it to Google Fit, so your data will go over there. And a user's manual and an overall about 
which is for the watch or for the app. And the app is just, I downloaded it recently. 3.1.7 is the current version we're looking at here. So if yours is looking different, it might be you've had an update since the time this video came out. That's everything pretty much on the, uh, the app. We've looked at the watch extensively. Just make sure that you wet your fingers, you wet your wrist, and you touch the opposite corners that have the metal plate when you're doing the ECG reading. And if you want to pick it up, it's available right now over at Banggood. They sent us this one. It's a decent watch for under 50 bucks. Check the show notes. If I got a discount coupon, I'll have it listed for you there. And yeah, we appreciate it if you use our links if you're interested in our products here. Or, you know, go in and look around. As long as you use the link to get to Banggood, even if you buy a different watch, it helps us out here. No, no difference in cost for you, but significant help for me in being able to bring these watches in to show them to you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon. One more thing, you can actually take an ECG anytime you want to wherever you are simply by activating it and letting it record the data on the watch and then later when you're back with your watch and you connect and sync it, your data will show up. Here's one I just did. That's the one we looked at earlier. This is another one and look, it's got a, a a notice for me to be cautious about this particular thing um very interesting i do have some of that sometimes so i'm definitely going to take a look at this chart and uh, i've got the ecg playback right here so even though i didn't have it live while i was recording it and watching it on the screen it captured everything and it's now showing me my ecg chart as recorded remotely on the watch. Really nice feature.